when I started the business about 30 years ago, I uh, specialized in my passion, which was Art Deco. And over the years, it got to be very hard to find. And I thought, well, I don't want to just sell anything. I mean, the whole, if you wanted to sell anything, you'd pick something that you could make a million dollars at. But if you want to sell something you love, and I thought, what is that? Well, I love coffee. I love perfume. I love books. They, you know, they'll call you and they'll tell you about a book that they want. And they'll end up telling you the whole story about how they got interested in it, what books they've read about it. And it's just a world of information that you get from your customers, you know, so it's more than a business. I never wanted to be a bookstore that had just rare books because I love to talk to people who read, not just people who collect. And I'm interested in the person who wants a $5 book, you know, because that person, they're, maybe they're just beginning their, their uh, travel or their path. All around the outside of the room we have fiction and literature and that's by author so it's you know easier for people to find. Then this whole aisle is uh, crime fi fiction. Well in the store we have about 80,000 but we have a warehouse and we have all together about 300,000 books. The first so, thing a lot of people notice when they come in is the music. Can you tell me a little bit about oh, the soundtrack here? Well, you know what, that's one of the great advantages of having your own business. You get to pick the music. <laughs> How has uh, the past year been for you with the, re with the recession and kind of a down economy? I mean, I mean it's been okay. It, it hasn't been devastating. Uh, it's, you know, I, I think I would, I would not be totally truthful if I didn't say it's been slower, but um, I don't feel discouraged. I think we're kind of hidden away here, but the people who find us really like us, and, uh, and we love being on Cherokee Street. What was Cherokee like 30 years ago? You know what? I have to tell you that it was a lot rougher. I mean, now it's, it's uh, nicely landscaped, it looks beautiful. In those days it wasn't, but 30 years ago I was younger and I thought the world would turn around in a year. You know, well, it's taken us a long time to get here. But even 30 years ago, I thought it was beautiful. I loved going down this street. You know, if you didn't, if there wasn't a car on the street, you could be, it could be 1900. You could be lost in time. I think it's a very romantic street.